Admiral Winnefeld for being here this evening with everything that's going on in Syria and Iraq and taking time out of his busy schedule, flying up to New York for a couple of hours to be with us. So to kickstart, why does the military remain such an anchor to this nation to the present day? Well, that's a great question, Joe, and I would say that, uh, first of all, we represent the ultimate public-private partnership uh, in that um, our principal role is to defend the citizens of this great nation, and we've done that for well over 200 years. I think that uh, uh, inherent in what the founders uh, produced in their constitution was a civilian control of the military and, and a military that deferred to uh, you know, the, the, the dreams of those founders to have civilian control. And, and we've lived that for uh, much longer than many other countries in the world have. And I think we're also uh, well positioned because we take the best and brightest of the young men and women in this country and we, we bring them in, we uh, teach them a little bit of discipline, we ask them to do more work before 8 o'clock in the morning than a lot of the kids uh, that uh, didn't come into the United States military and uh, we do the very best we can. And, and I would say that um, we try to do it with integrity uh, I think it's indicative that when we fail in that regard, we're held, we hold ourselves to a high standard and we are held to a high standard and we like that. It always hurts to read about yourself in the newspaper when you make a mistake, but we wouldn't have it any other way because we want to be held to that standard. So I think the American public uh, gets that. If you look at some of the Pew surveys and the like that are out there in terms of what the most trusted institution are, institutions are in the, in the country, it's the U.S. military uh, that usually comes out on top. And it's not because of me, it's because of all those wonderful young men and women who are out there serving our country.